Hello, YouTubers. Today's video is a video about uh, remote utilities. This is a set of software that allows you to remotely log into and control other systems. Right now, I have this set up on three different systems of my own. One is a file server that sits in the room with me. The other is the client PC, which I'm currently making this video on. And the third one is a virtual machine, which is currently not running. I was asked by the remote utilities team to show them how exactly I connect to the file server. So I'm going to do that really quick for you. And find the viewer. It's in here somewhere. There's my viewer. Now, I do not understand why it's trying to sign in. I do not have the server software installed. I'm going to have to fix that. Uh, I'll fix that later. Now, let's go ahead and refresh this. There we go. Client PC. That's this PC. Server PC. That's the one that had the problem. Okay, here's your information. I'm going to go through each of these tabs. You can pause at any time to see what you need to see. Okay, so I have showed you the settings at the viewer level. Let's log into the server. And I will show you settings there that I believe are pertinent. Some settings I will keep out of view. Whoops. There we go. Yes, that's a black background. Okay. Now, here's the host, current host, we'll just do this, it's 6.10.3. Wanted to show you that, so there's no mistaking what version is being used. Some settings, I will skip displaying for you. See, I'm, otherwise, I'm just going to do the same thing I did with the viewer settings. Again, you can pause at any time. And host identity, I will not display here. Those were settings on both the viewer side and the server side. Now, the problem I had is I did a simple update, or tried to do a simple update from here using this option. Unfortunately, um, it appears to do the update successfully, but the problem I had was that I was able to log back into the server after the update once. Then I left it overnight, restarted both machines, and was unable to log back in. Actually, the restart of the server happened before I tried to log back in. Before I tried to log in the first time successfully. There were no other restarts after that for that machine. 
uh, except to try to troubleshoot not being able to log back in. What I got after leaving it overnight was an access denied error, which should not have happened. Uh, no changes were made to any of the settings between the, the time I first logged on and the time the update completed and I had these problems. Now the only solution that I could find was to completely uninstall and reinstall <coughs> Remote Utilities Host. I also completely removed the Remote Utilities server from the server because that was apparently part of the problem. Um, so hopefully that will give you all the information that you need. For those that use remote utilities that have had similar issues, you are more than welcome to leave your comments uh, about your experiences for other viewers to see. And if you like this, if you like my other videos, feel free to hit the subscribe button that's down here. Have a great day.